Welcome to this Illustrator tutorial. So without further ado, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to basically create this, um, well, this silhouette from in Illustrator. So in this Illustrator tutorial, we'll be taking this or this elephant sort of shape here um, and we'll be then transforming it into this Illustrator shape here. So hi, we're in Adobe Photoshop at this moment in time, so make sure that you're in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is the elephant here, so let me just move myself down and out of the way. As you can see, it's got a nice plain background that makes it a hell of a lot easier to select. So let's get on with selecting the program. So what I'm going to do here, just to zoom in to show you, um, we're going to use the uh, magic wand tool. It's just over here, so if you just click basically on this bit here, uh, and then we're going to select the magic wand tool. The reason being is because the background just over here is a nice clean white background so that when we use the magic wand tool to select this and we, so we can export those paths to Illustrator, it makes it a lot easier. So let's just do that one. Oops, that's good. Just make sure. I think I had it already selected. There we go. Magic wand. Brilliant. That's good. Cool. Brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do is up there, we've got the tolerance. Now you're going to have to muck around with this a little bit, but as we're creating a silhouette, it's not mega important. So what I'm just going to do is use the magic wand tool, click on the white, and you can see the whole white background is selected. That's good. However, I don't want the white background selected. I want the elephant selected. So what I'm just going to do is select inverse. There's a shortcut key for that. If I go to uh, select at the top, it's shift, control, and I. But uh, if you don't want to use the shortcut key, then you can uh, just go to select and inverse just here at the top. You can see, just give that one a click and that will then inverse the uh, selection. So let's do that, shall we? Uh, select and inverse. But it's now we've got the elephant selected. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we need uh, for the selection tool. We don't really need to collect, select another layer, etc. But what we do need to do, do is go to the paths window. Now, if you can't see the paths window, if I get myself out of the way, if you go up to the top here and you go to window and then scroll down here, you can see paths. Mine's already checked. I'll uncheck it and then I'll go up to the top and recheck it. So if I go down, there we go, paths. Then I can see my paths window is just over on this side here. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, just get myself out of the way, I'm just in the way all the time, aren't I? That's good. So you can see I've got my path window here. So what I'm going to do is just going to scroll down to the bottom. And you can see there's a little button here that says, uh, when I hover over it, make work path from selection. So I give that a click and then I can see a nice work path there that's automatically selected. So I can choose that make work path from selection. Just going to control Z to undo because I can always go to this quick access um or uh, this uh, palette options menu or panel options menu just up here. Give that a click if I wanted to. Uh, and then I can use that method. So if I went up here and then I go to make work path, you can see that it comes up and I can have a tolerance for the work path and adjust it. And click on OK. And then I come back and I've got work path here. So either way is fine. Um, so I'm just going to keep this way. If you've done it the other way, no problem at all. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, double click on this here. So if I double click on this work path here, so that will enable me to rename that. So let's do that, shall we? Uh, okay, so if I just double click, give it a decent name. There we go. I'm going to call this one Elephant. There we go. Click on OK. And then if I look over here, I can see I have the elephants. Okay, so far so good. So the next thing I need to do is I need to save these paths as an Illustrator file. So let's do that, shall we? So if I go to File, and then I'm going to go down to, let me just zoom in so you can see this one here as well. So File, Export, and across and down to Paths to Illustrator. Okay, so you can see that one there. It's Paths to Illustrator. So that's something we can do. So we're going to give that one a click. Oops. Let's go. That's it. Export and then down to paths to Illustrator. So then what it's going to ask me to do is it's going to choose which path I want to export. This time it's the elephant path. Click on OK and then decide where I'm going to save that. So I'm just going to save this one here on my desktop. It could be anywhere basically. Uh, it's called elephant profile. Click on save and there we go. We've saved that. Great. So now we're going to swap across 
to Adobe Illustrator. So let's have a look at Adobe Illustrator just here. And we're going to go and open. There we go. Uh, and there's my elephant profile. Oh, sorry, make sure I'm on my desktop. And there's my elephant profile here. Uh, when I open this up as well, what I want to make sure is that I've just got the crop area here selected. So just make sure the crop areas are selected. That should do the trick fine. Great. OK. And then you can click on OK. And then that will load this file up in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and then what I can do is if I click around, you can see here and I find my a path. There we go. Give it a click. And I can see I've got the elephant here selected. And then if I just want to change the colors, I can um, just use the colors here over here to change and swap the colors. Oops, let me just get rid of myself flickering here. There we go. So I can have this nice silhouette. So yeah, it's looking quite good. I mean, if I click away and you can sort of see, sometimes it looks a bit jaggedy. I don't know if you can see very closely just here, if I zoom in even more. Uh, yeah, it's looking a bit like, I don't know, it's just like a saw happening on his trunk. I think it's a little smoother than that. And I want to make it a little smoother. So how do I do that one? Well, what I can use is over here on the right hand side is, uh, left hand side, sorry, is should be a tool. There we go. So we got this tool here, the smooth tool. So if I go over here, uh, make sure this is selected. And then if I just drag along his trunk a little bit here and let go, you can see the trunk gets a bit smoother here. If I drag along his trunk down this side here, there you go, you see his trunk's a bit smoother. And what I can do is I can go around all this section here, just dragging with a smooth tool, you know, just redrawing it. And then it just basically gets rid of the, all those extra horrible anchor points. If I could get this done with as few anchor points as possible, well, so much the better. Of course, if you're using a better mouse than I am here, you're, or even a, um, a graphics tablet, then uh, you might have a little bit more success here. You know, um, let's just get the back bit done over here. Uh, there we go. Brilliant. And all the way down. And yeah, great. That's good. Excellent. So I think it did really, really well. Brilliant. Okay. So uh, again, then, if you're wanting to sort of crop this, you can go to your artboard tool. So your artboard tool over here on the left hand side, give that a click. And then if you go and then just adjust the width of this, so it just fits snugly around your elephant. There we go at the top here and here, like so, and down the bottom here. That's it. Oops, sorry. there we go, like that. Brilliant. And then let's give the artboard a decent name at the moment. It's called Artboard 2. So I'm going to call this one Elephant. There we go. Press Enter there. And I think that's all about it, really. Um, next thing we can do is we can save this. So if we go to File, and then if we go to Save, it's going to ask. I don't want this Elephant Profile, so I'm going to call this Elephant. Uh, elephant. There we go. Um, Sil, oh, I'll never remember. silhouette. Uh, if I've, I've spelt this wrong, or no doubt one of you out there will tell me. Uh, my spelling, as you probably know, is not the best. Okay, so click on save, make sure it's an Illustrator file. And there we go, Elephant Silhouette. Uh, excellent. And there we have it, how you can create a silhouette. Uh, please subscribe. <laughs> Click on the bottom, give it a subscribe, it'll be fantastic. If you've got anything out of this tutorial whatsoever, then give this a thumbs up. Yeah, um, much appreciated. And thank you so much for watching.